Hello there and welcome back. This is going to be a small series of videos about building your own botnet. And what I'm going to do in the first video is to show you how you can set it up, how you can get started with it. After that, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks as to adding uh, agents or how you can use it when you don't want to open up your firewall to use the public IP address of your host. Then we are going to take a look at how you can uh, add clients to uh, like Linux or Windows machines, take a tour on the web interface. So basically that's it. So building your own botnet is, <laughs> well, it can be used for malicious intent. So don't try this at home and don't use it for any shady <laughs> goals that you want to achieve. So basically that's it. The first one that we would like to do is to check out the GitHub. So this is the GitHub basically, which is going to allow you to utilize the build your own botnet. I'm going to copy the whole link and I'm going to use my Linux machine. This is the Ubuntu machine to perform the steps and yeah, basically that's it. So it has four gigs of RAM and four vCPUs. So it's not a powerhouse, but it's good enough for the purpose. So let's go to the desktop, create the botnet folder. Let me just try and make this a little bit bigger. How do I do this? Unnamed custom font. Let's make it like, I don't know, 18. Very good. So I'm going to use the git command to clone down this one. Oh, let's sudo and apt get install git. Yeah, and once the git has been installed, then what we can do is to use it to clone with get the repository and don't forget to add the clone command and once we have cloned it what we should do <laughs> yeah first uh, not clone it to our root folder but rather to the desktop so let's try this once again paste and navigate to the build your own botnet folder. Here we can see the web GUI and the BIOB folders. We need to enter the web GUI <coughs> and chmod plus x startup.sh. And let's go ahead and try to start up our web UI. And this is going to be the first part of the video because it is going to take some time. And once this had been completed, I am going to continue and let's use the magic of editing. So see you in the continuation. All right, so once the installation is complete, you will be prompted to restart your machine. And once you have restarted the machine, you have to navigate to the web GUI folder and it should appear Python 3.8 run.py. And once you have executed this, you should be able to navigate to, you, to the URL. And once this is done, all you have to do is go for the register, pick a username and the password, and once again, and sign up. Let's save it, use the username and the password. And after that, what we can do is to log in. So now what happens is that we have to open up our firewall and uh, I have my routers administration interface and basically what happens here is that I have to add a new rule and I would like to use the IP address of my 
virtual machine. This is the one. So technically, actually, that's not the right one. So IP address show. I have a virtual interface which is supposed to be attached to my machine and it uses oh I should add the new one network adapter custom this is going to be the bridged network interface and after the save is complete I should be able to go ahead and issue the IP address show. So this is going to be the address with the 12. Start port as 1337-1339-1337-1339. Protocol is going to be both and enabled is OK. And once this is done and the changes have been applied, I should be able to visit the one. Uh, what's my IP? And use this IP column 1337 and if we go back here, what we can do is to visit the interface itself. So under the control panel, we will have the bots enlisted and we can generate a payload. So let's uh, add this one to the video as well. So select the format, we can specify either the Python or the executable. If we select Python, we can generate the pay payload itself. If we select executable, we can generate it for either Windows or Linux. So let's generate one for Windows. <coughs> and it should be a, a little bit longer. It takes some time. But anyway, so we will have a list of exfiltrated files. We will have the how it works and the getting started. So basically that was all I wanted to show you in this video. In the next one, we are going to add some Windows and later Linux uh, agents. So see you in the next one.